I met a potential client at a networking event and followed up with a meeting. After he entered the meeting room, I began a bit of small talk, got about five seconds into it. Then he said, right, let's get down to business. I was fine with it, but I was wondering how his Japanese customers would find this hustle style of Western business. Actually, I know the answer, not good. Welcome back to this weekly edition every Monday of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy and president of Dale Cunningham Training Japan. I'm also the best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and my new book, Japan Business Mastery. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center in Akasaka, in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? In this show, we are looking at the critical areas for success in business in Japan. We want to help advance everyone's thinking so that we can be at the forefront, the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. Before we get into this week's show, here is what caught my attention lately. According to a recent government survey, 61% of the public believes women should be able to continue working even after giving birth. The rate was 6.8% up on the previous survey in 2016 and the highest since the survey was started back in 1992. That year, the rate was only 25% approving the idea. Nearly 60% of the respondents opposed or somewhat opposed the view that husbands should work and wives should stay at home and look after the household. Just over 56% said they believed in equally dividing child rearing with their spouse. This is episode 119 and we are talking about when selling, timing is key. Sorry, dewa ikimashou, so let's get going. It always astonishes me that many salespeople have very little sense of proper timing to start selling their product or service. In the sales call, they're in a rush to get down to business. Japan has mastered the idea of building some rapport before starting the sales conversation. Small talk predominates the commencement of the meeting and then smoothly glides into the main discussion. Western business people are all time is money focused and want to get straight down to business. They consider that preamble to be a waste of their valuable time. Japan has a preference for the long-term view and business partnerships need to be created. The devil they know is much preferred to the angel they don't know, which is why usually the same suppliers get called back every year. New leaders, new staff in decision-making positions can eject you from the sales supply conveyor belt. But that is usually because they have their own preferred supplier devil they know from past dealings. Everywhere in the world, I believe people like to do business with people they like. They may be forced to do business with people they don't like from time to time, but all things considered, we still like to do business with people we like. That early component of the rapport building stage of the sales conversation about the weather, where is your office, how long have you been in Japan, etc., is designed to see if you are someone who is likable. Trust is the other biggie, and the first meeting is mainly geared to determine if the buyer can trust you and your firm in that order. By listening and observing how we behave, the buyer is trying to get a fix on our degrees of reliability. This factor is more important in Japan because of all the tight interlocking relationships in play here. 
there are many more layers in the distribution system of Japan. So an error or a problem in any part of the food chain can have adverse impacts down the line. The last thing a buyer wants is an unhappy buyer of their own because of something we did or didn't do. Believing we are saving time by putting things aside and getting to the chase, getting down to business immediately, is actually wasting your time in Japan. It is a waste because the whole sales process is probably derailing at the very start. Another observation I would make is that even those who observe the sales niceties in Japan get straight into their pitch immediately after the small talk is finished. This is a big mistake. The loquacious salesperson is the thing of legend. Talk, talk, talk is the idea. Somehow overpowering the buyer's resistance with our onslaught of logic and data. The fail point here is the degree of relevancy. Your assembled data, powers of persuasion, inarguable logic and passion delivery are only relevant if the discussion is on point. The trick is to actually distilling what is on point. A cagey buyer who doesn't give much away but demands much in terms of information is a nightmare. The Japanese capacity for obscurantism, vulgarity, opaqueness, combined with the Japanese language is unmatched in degree of difficulty to understand what's going on. Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Winning with Relationship Selling course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the Winning with Relationship Selling course now in either Japanese or English. The bestseller, Japan Sales Mastery, is the new Bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear, and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is a product of 30 plus years in the trenches, selling in Japan. Order. Japan Sales Mastery Now. Welcome back. You can be sitting there and have no clear idea where the buyer needs are located. If you don't ask any questions and just plow straight into your pitch, then buyer needs are unlikely to surface. If the buyer is unwilling to share their needs with a total stranger, in the first meeting, then the pitch is going to result in some drinking of cheap green tea, and that is about all. Relevancy means getting a good match between what we have and what they want. The way to understand that is not pitch, but to ask well-designed questions and listen very, very carefully to the answers. This sounds like the simplest thing in the world to me. But so many salespeople fail to do this. They are so keen to tell, they confuse this with how to sell. The solution we have to offer should be held back until we reach a point in the conversation where we determine we have what they need. To get to that point requires the client to do most of the talking. Again, fast talking salespeople trying to overpower the Japanese buyer are going to fail miserably. If the client needs the item in pink, why are we talking about blue? If we don't have it in pink, why are we talking at all? In Japan, for whatever reason, the cadence of a meeting is small talk, then the business discussion, a possibility of a proposal if there is interest, and more small talk on the way to the elevators, wrapped up in a basically one hour time bracket. 
We can sometimes go longer, but it's only if the interest and time schedule permit. But usually the hour is the calibration. The wise salesperson realizes the likelihood of a sale from a first meeting is relatively low in Japan. So they know they are playing a long game here and are therefore not frantic about getting an immediate result. Getting permission to come back with our proposal is a big win in Japan. If the client wants what we cannot supply, then nice to meet you and sayonara is the order of the day. Powerful personalities trying to shove the square peg in the round hole get nowhere here. Don't try and overpower the client and make them buy. Go out there and find another client who can buy. Hanging around trying to force the business is a waste of time, not the small talk. When presenting your solution, hold back any materials or samples or examples until you understand whether they want pink or blue. If possible, hide these materials on the chair next to you so they are out of sight. Only show the client what is relevant based on what you have heard they need. Whipping out your glossy brochure or slick sample or snappy PowerPoint might get you excited, but we are here to get the client excited. The only way to do that is provide them with what they need. Take your time, concentrate on building rapport and trust, use the time available in the meeting to let the client do most of the talking and get them speaking about their business, the current market conditions, the relevant timing, their preferences, their frustrations, their experience and their biases. When we know these things, then we have something to talk about, but not before. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show is here to help you succeed in Japan. Subscribe on YouTube, share with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Thank you for watching this episode and remember, hit the subscribe button. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalecunning.com. It's awesome value, so check it out. Please leave me some feedback on YouTube. I would love to know how this show helped and what other topics you are interested for me to cover. Remember, I'm here as a free resource to help you. So just tell me how I can help you best. You might also enjoy my other weekly shows for podcasts, Mondays, for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. That's the podcast version. Tuesdays for the Presentations Japan series. Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery show. You get these wherever you get your podcasts. Also on Fridays, I release my other TV show, the Japan Business Mastery show on YouTube. In episode 120, we are talking about get your hustle on. Find out more about that next week. So, Yoroshiku. Onegai itashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. And we only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.